Hi everybody, welcome back to our story retell day. So yesterday we learned about a person who has who has to oop. Yesterday we learned what a person has to do to be an astronaut in this book, Astronaut Handbook. M remember, Megan McCarthy is the author and the illustrator about people who go into space. So I remember we learned a new word yesterday. We learned it takes a lot of work to prepare to be an astronaut, okay? So let's think, think, think. Why do you have to do so much to learn how to do this job? Can you tell me or your learning coach at home? Why do you have to do so much to learn how to do this job? Yeah, there's a lot to remember to be an astronaut. Lots of steps to take, right? It can be a dangerous job. So that's why it takes a lot of time to learn how to be an astronaut. All right, so today I'm gonna read this story and you're gonna pretend that you're preparing to be an astronaut as I read this story. And you're gonna act out the things we learn about in the story, okay, friends? All right, here we go. So as I read, you're gonna be pretending to be those astronauts who are preparing for space. Welcome to astronaut school. Soon you will be boarding a space shuttle and blasting into outer space. All different kinds of people have become astronauts. There have been teachers, painters, and even deep sea divers. You can be an astronaut too. Look, I see this board back here. What do you think this might say? What is this a picture of? Huh, it says shuttle. I see a training log. So they must be logging all of their times that they're training. And this is called a periodic table. Very cool. First, you need to decide what kind of astronaut you will be. There are astronauts who fly the space shuttles, astronauts who conduct scientific experiments such as growing plants, and astronauts who repair satellites. Being an astronaut takes a lot of preparation it's important to study hard in school. Studying isn't always easy, but stick with it. You will have to pass some tough fitness tests to become an astronaut. So suit up and start swimming. One test is to swim in your flight suit and sneakers. It's also important to be a team player while in space, you'll be eating, sleeping, and working in very tight quarters with many other people. So be nice to your neighbor and no fighting. You guys pretend you're floating in space like the astronauts? Now that you can work well with others, it's time for survival training. You guys ready to go to survival training? Let's do it. This training will help toughen you up and prepare you to live in harsh conditions. After you're both mentally and physically prepared, it's time for the real work to begin. Practice makes perfect. Those of you who have decided to become engineers will practice working with machines like the ones you'll use in space. Those of you who want to be a pilot of the space shuttle will need to learn how to fly. You've done the hard stuff, and now it's time to have some fun. A special plane nicknamed the Vomit Comet uh, will take you high in the sky, then zoom back down. As a result, you'll be able to float. Whoa, it might upset your stomach, but you'll get the hang of it. Mm, we gotta pack all of our yummy foods, pack all our foods up, astronauts at home. You'll also need to pick the food you'd like to eat while in space. It's important to have a balanced diet to stay strong during your trip. You can even have dessert, such as freeze-dried ice cream. Yum, yum. This is what a space toilet looks like. Remember we looked at it yesterday? Can you remember some of the things from our space toilet? Remember, we needed these restraints to hold our legs down if we're using the, ba the bathroom. There's a light, the instructions, right? 
places to put hold your feet down. Very cool. You'll wear this suit while working outside the space shuttle. It's white to reflect the rays of the sun and it will be fitted to your exact measurements. Over 100 measurements will be taken of your hand alone. Oh my gosh. All the really cool stuff on the spacesuit, our visor, our headlamps. We have a camera. Remember the spacesuit weighs 280 pounds on earth. That's really heavy. Do you think you could wear one of these? Ooh, I don't know. Finally, it's time for blast off. Okay, astronauts, get ready for blast off. Put on that orange flight suit, worn for takeoffs and landings, and get ready to board the space shuttle. You will have to sit for as long as three hours before liftoff. Okay, astronauts, are you guys in your are you guys in your flight suits? All right, let's buckle in. Get ready for the ride of your life. Three, two, one, blast off! Oh my gosh, we're going into space, astronauts. It's best to like small spaces. Work hard and enjoy your time in space. The end. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun pretending to be astronauts with you all. Okay, friends. It was nice reading this story with you. I will see you again soon. Bye everyone.